What's going on YouTube? My name is Vitamin D and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Leverage. If you've not seen the previous episode, I don't know why you haven't seen the last episode, but it's been almost a week since I've uploaded the last video. So you've had plenty of time to finish the video. Go ahead and watch it. And if you do happen to enjoy this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribing if you haven't already done so. Thanks. It really does help out my self-esteem. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. This is episode 30. You hit 30, I think. Wow, look at that. Never thought I'd make it this far with this visual novel. I've been so inconsistent with everything. Kyoto Sixty-one Sounds like you need to get rid of Ella, bro. Jesus Christ. She bugs. Brenda was squirming. Ah, sounds like hell. She was trying to reach around to her back, but her, her shoulder didn't seem flexible enough. She couldn't reach. However, that totally happens, especially when you dress heavy in winter. You could be quite perplexing even when you use the back scratcher or similar to try and satisfy the itch. Back scratchers are clutch. My back is suddenly itchy now, why? Reyna was squirming. Hmm. Here? Rub. I rubbed against the area beneath her shoulder. That's so. Uh, better keep it up then. I went around behind her and gave her some solid scratches. Rena was squirming. The course of events led me to this, but her back sure was soft. My head still remembered the softness of her biddies, but her back was also pleasantly tender. Whoops. Someone else had come. I pulled my hand away. Good question. Sure. Everyone has at least one talent at their disposal, and I guess scratching people's backs is mine. If so, my life would be hopeless. Are you itchy too, Ellie? Just like we were? Just as Ellie san set her back down, she began to wriggle her shoulders. I apparently have a knack for scratching people's backs. Now that I took the time to say it out loud, it was a depressing skill. Yeah, this sound twisted her shoulder and scratched on her own. Athletic types like her seem to have limber joints. Oh, 
But for some reason, the princess ordered her to stop. We'll do. <laughs> I went around to her back. Rub. Alright, here. Jeez. Then, I scratched in a massage like fashion. Elisan's back must have been muscular and felt so tight and sprawny. It had its rather alluring points for sure. What is she doing? I'd love to see it for myself. It was a pity that I couldn't see her expression while I scratched her back. What is going on, bro? What is going on? <laughs> Oh, I made my way behind Jogosaki now that rain and so we had caught her. Whoa! She shouted at me. Yeah, weirdos. Sorry. Her previous hostility may have disappeared, but I still wouldn't consider us on great terms. My attempt to touch her back without asking was a mistake, and I'd better reflect on it. Good, 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 good. Good, reflect really hard. Huh? Remember what? What are you talking about? <laughs> huh? She left still angry. She would understand, right? What little time we had remaining of our second term passed in the usual boisterous, rowdy fashion. Nice. Nice. Doesn't sound too bad. Doesn't sound too bad. More interesting bit. The final day of second term. That reminds me, how's Winterberg going to affect radio calisthenics? Oh no, no, let's not do that. That's great. Vacation time. Really? Alright. You've got the same schedule as Shelby? The privilege of a lot of things that I imagine being as a princess can't come for free, you know? Sounds crazy how most of the time that we see her, she's always fired up for no reason. I, I could uh respect that heavily because I could never be like that. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna upload three videos, and then sometimes I'm like, eh. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Oh, jeez. Even got Mina fired up. <laughs> <gasps> Fire! This! The hot blue types are multiplying. Yeah. They sure are. For the middle of winter, it was one sweltering morning. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Rena turned up in her usual high spirit, so I answered her with as much of my usual energy as I could. Oh man. I was sure she meant it as a prank, but I wasn't such a ladies man that I could act normally around her after that spur of the moment blowjob. But when that extended into the classroom, our relationship became more complex. 
I decided to treat you know what like no big deal to overcome my shyness. That being the case, want to come over again tonight? Fuck. Rina let out a shrill laugh. Good, back to our usual mood. Just about how the massage Rina gave me felt really nice. We acted like our usual selves and ended the second term on high note. I almost said high school. Sure. Kikuchi will call out to me. Saigo and Yamamoto were trailing closely behind him. We moved away from the girls to chat. Oh my god. You guys are weirdos. Just how badly do you all want to see naked girls? ごかいです。僕たちも最近では普通に戦闘に通うのが好きになっただけです。そうですよ。ちょうどいいんだよ、あそこ。Ah, so bathhouses are all that rage now? When all was said and done, the Japanese really did love to hop into a wide open bath. Everything you just said ticks me off to no end. You're in the old, old women? Okay. <laughs> Limit your fetish to MILFs. Hold off on chasing after anyone older than that until you hit 50. What do you mean? Huh? Oh my god. You've gone way past that. It's from Hamaman? Hamanan? It wasn't unusual for the whole club that headed that bathhouse as a group. I went all the time to wash away the sweat after practice back in the day. Talk about bad timing, huh? Why don't you get used to that already, though? I get that you're scared of some huge crowd of crew cut muscle heads, but it's not like they pick fights with you, right? Yeah, Sounds like there's no issue then? Hi. was it? So did it, sir. Kikuki one of the Tandakado, Kikuetik Tanda. Yeah, yeah, get him out of here. I don't, I actually don't care about him. He's whatever. No depressing music, please. It doesn't matter. What in the world is going on? That evening, I called Toryo several times since lunch break, but he wouldn't pick up. Later, I got in touch with a mutual acquaintance. However, it seemed he hadn't been in touch with her either. Sorry. I'm not his keeper or anything. I'll send him a message too, so just tell him to call me the second he gets out of practice. Huh? Tell him to call me. I hung up. Uh, how the heck was this going to play out? For crying out loud. There was no real way of telling since we went to different schools, but it did seem that news of Torio quitting the, bas the baseball, not basketball, club hadn't gone public yet. It was infeasible in the first place since he was a star of hope for the Japanese baseball industry. The only logical reason for quitting would be due to an injury or otherwise, but he seemed fine when I saw him yesterday. Then. The only other reason I could imagine was, 
the slump he'd mentioned before he had gotten worse. Everyone saw him as a rising star, which likely contributed to further stress and mental burnout. It wasn't impossible. That mentality of his was his greatest weakness. Give me a break. I could only hope this didn't turn into one giant pain in the neck. Nothing. Talk about harsh. Ryo took a drag on her cigarette and looked downward as she spoke. This had become clear to me lately. Whenever she didn't look directly at me, it meant she was a little embarrassed. Thanks a bunch for your concern. How adorable. Sorry, though, but I don't have enough of a handle on the situation to ask for advice yet. That made me feel a little bit better, though. Thank you, Rhea. She really was cute. But how about that? The impatience had shown on my face that badly? Maybe Chieka was right. Maybe I was worried. Maybe I was still worried about him. Even though I was done with him. Hmm. Mm. I could see a group of girls leaving one of the nearby classrooms, a fashion studio. I peeked inside. Nice, very nice. Like last time, Reyna was working hard on one of her designs. As expected, she was so focused on her tasks she hadn't noticed me yet. The golden ratio, was it? She was working out her design using protractors, rulers, and the like to measure and to locate the clothing. <laughs> She seemed to be in deep thought while working through her process. It'd be bad to interrupt. Better head home. Just as I was about to leave the room. Rattle. Ah. Oh, sorry. My shoulder smacked into the door. Ah, what Nothing. I was just passing by and saw you were working. I don't interrupt. Wrap up here before it gets too dark. Oh. Oh. I headed outside. Hmm? Rena caught up to me and crudely raked her fingers through her hair. You sure? Facts. Got it. Yeah. Going home together. We decided to head back together. It's getting dark anyway, so this worked out perfectly. We kept conversation light. Sun had set and her white sight instantly dissolved into the dark of night. It's new to me, so I couldn't say. We had taken a bubble sheet based test the other day, and our scores would come back Monday. It wasn't just a test grid, but a report card of sorts that also took our regular approaches to learning into account. Yeah, things were not looking good for me. Not only were my test grades abysmal, but my study habits were just as poor. I work hard to stay at a level where it won't interfere with graduation. I want to graduate as peacefully as possible from Novo Academy to take advantage of their connections and eventually become a civil servant. Oh, shut up. It was more than enough for me. Outsiders would likely consider it lame or believe it meant my life was miserable, but that's how I wanted it. I was exhausted by the idea of anything more complex than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Rainer's sharp observational skills were as sharp as ever and had struck fire for the first time in ages. There was no reason for me to hide it from her. You remember Torio, right? The guy from the other day? He might be a little off his game. He didn't say anything about it yesterday, so I doubt it's anything major. Even if there were, it's none of my business. Hmm. Maybe. Personally, I didn't think I fit into the nice guy mode. <laughs> However, I wondered if it might be true now that Reina had said as much out loud. I should be great if it were. Hmm. 
Interesting. Our conversation naturally carried on and she ended up joining me all the way here. <laughs> I bet you remember everything that's happened the second you walk in here, huh? Mom. <laughs> uh, uh. Our sexual encounters had occurred in this very room and it must have weighed heavily on her mind. <laughs> I didn't know what type of drug it was, but it didn't sound like she was put off enough by me to run away. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, Rina took a seat in her usual spot, on the bed. Like clockwork, I handed her a ramune. Thank you. Yeah. Huh? Why? Jeez, that does not sound healthy. <laughs> True. Only Reina knew that I cried my eyes out after I saw Toyo. It's not as if I hate him. The end of the day, we'd been friends since we were little. You've got childhood friends too, don't you? Like that handsome hongo -san. Mm. I wonder if it's the same? You get this feeling where you both do and don't force yourself to get along? My relationship with Tori is like that. Reina tilted her head. In her case, I was sure she wouldn't burst into tears if she happened to run into hongo -san. Our differences were trivial as far as I was concerned. Trivial, tribal, I don't know. It's just a little obnoxious, I guess. Him, or maybe more so when I remembered what happened between us. It was so obnoxious it made me cry. But it isn't annoying anymore. Yeah, it's all out of my system now. Thanks to everything you did for me. I was talking about the lap pillow, not the butt flapping stuff. You can't do the dirty jokes anymore. You just can't. <laughs> it's never gonna be the same. <laughs> no, how could it be the same after a threesome? <laughs> Anyhow, thanks to your incredible thighs, I don't consider him obnoxious anyway. Or the past, for that matter. After crying in her lap that night, I was able to think much more clearly than before. I'd come to realize that I was able to attend Noble Academy and meet Reina because I'd given up on the baseball club. <laughs> it was a fine lap pillow. Reina smirked. She helped people like it were only second nature, yet didn't recognize such an ability as one of her strong or weak points. Yeah? Promise? She patted her thighs. Huh? <laughs> she was smiling bashfully. This promise, huh? Of course I hadn't forgotten. I mean, heck, you can't forget that. How about right now, then? Hi. If I said I wanted to right now, what would you do? <laughs> now she looked stumped. It was an abuse of our promise. This was supposed to be for when I wanted to cry, so I had no reason to have her provide a lap pillow at the moment. Not to mention that the lap pillow yesterday actually turned out into an erotic incident. If she gave her consent, there was no telling how this would play out. Oh boy, but... I won't deny that. For her, as awkward as Raina looked, her grin never faded. Raina tidied up the front of her skirt. Then she leveled out her thighs so they'd be perfect as a pillow. Yeah. No! Throw the phone out, bro. Dang it. I checked my cell phone. It was from Torio. That absolute nuisance. <sighs> Beep. Hey, doing okay? By your tone, you sound like you're fine. Cool, cool. Catch you later then. <laughs> what? <laughs> so then, about that lap pillow, Reina. God dang, dude. Call him back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it just kind of poured out of me for a second there. Don't worry about it. 
So, I'd imagine you've already heard up from uh, Cheka. I heard you're quitting the team. Torio fell silent. What the heck? Tell me I'd never quit already. I knew better than anyone that he had no other path forward in life other than baseball. <laughs> I bet. You see? Thought so. Either the guy at Hamanan misunderstood, or else Kikuchio's little group misheard. I'd known as much the whole time, and I wasn't the least bit shocked. <laughs> no need. I'm going to see Chek over New Year's. See you later. <laughs> oh, it was kind of cold, bro. Beep. I can go. Man. Nothing really. The topic of whether he might quit the baseball club came up, but it sounded like it was a huge misunderstanding. Who knows? It kind of just happened. I didn't know the particulars of what led to that misunderstanding. Oh, oops. I think I skipped something. With that out of the way, Reina, it's lap pillow time. Of course I want you to. Spaz. I'll try, but you did say I could use your lap any time. Pop. Don't dodge. I dove under the floor. Lap pillow. You told me you'd do it for me. <laughs> yeah, lap pillow. Yeah, Poof. Lap pillow. No, an embrace. I buried my face into her biddies. My face was in her biddies. Settle down. Oh! All the tension I worked up was absorbed in her biddies. I gotta enjoy something even better than lap pillow, but. Dang it! Rain was a cut above me in every conceivable way. <laughs> that was how the last night of the second term came to an end. I'd say that's a solid wrap up. Well, not a solid wrap up, a soft wrap up. A soft wrap up. <laughs> All that remained was the end of term ceremony on Monday. The only question left would be how the most climactic and decisive moment of our young lives would turn out. Oh yeah, we still don't know if she's pregnant or not. We need to find out ASAP. Is she prego or no? Tell us already. Good God. This game likes to play. Sunday. I was restless the moment I woke up. Excuse me. I don't know what that was. Water time. Drink water. You look dry. You look crusty. Drink water right now. Cool. You're welcome for reminding you. You don't drink enough water, bro. I was restless the moment I woke up. Raina was expected to learn the results of her examination following her appointment at 10 o'clock that morning. And the messenger of those very results didn't return to the dorm until 1 o'clock that afternoon. Man, what a nerve-wracking three-hour wait. You're late, you know. She'd gone to the doctor to find out whether or not she was pregnant. Reina was supposed to get her results around 11 o'clock, but she and Jogasaki had grabbed lunch on their way back to the academy. They made me wait three hours. I had been a nervous wreck. Is she really about to become a mom? Oh god. That's crazy. <laughs> Huh? Then, well, as for the test, for a while, Reina looked down at her feet. I, I, no! <laughs> Reina. I fell flat on my face. You're not pregnant. Thanks, Ayakachi. We appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Reina, I hate, look, we hate Reina for that. Why Why would you make a guy wait like that? That's awful. Reina. 
。というわけで、今日の時点で、イエーイ。来週が最終検査だって。先ほどフルマン薬をいただいてきました。九十九パーセント妊娠の失敗はありませんか？はあ、はあ、that's all. I felt wiped out. For the last week, I had been overwhelmed with the idea of what I'd do if I became a father. Either way, we know Reyna wasn't Greg. Good, good, good. Don't be pregnant. It was cold outside, so we headed in. Um. Yeah, let's have a threesome. All we could think about was the incident from a week ago. Good question. No issues with bowel movements or hemorrhoids or anything. Nice, nice. That sounds like an addiction. That does not sound healthy, Ayaka. It doesn't, does not. <laughs> Right. I love to eat some meal too. Reina and I were now alone. Okay then, with that settled. Yup. Yup. Half and half. It's pathetic that the part of me that's relieved wins out, huh? <laughs> That kind of sucks. <laughs> She gently rubbed her stomach. I felt the same. I was more relieved than not. But it did feel a bit lonely that the metaphorical link that binding us together was now gone. But then that all depends on what came next. Hey, Reyna.、Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure I should say this when the possibility just disappeared, but as I said before, I I would love to have a baby with you. I would like to perform in the butt flapping, butt clapping activities. The conversation veered into embarrassing territory, and Reyna turned away. Can we not? I've already waited a week. Yeah, you you tell her, you tell her. I also came to the conclusion that everything really would be okay if we started dating. Because we've struck a balance. We sure did. I don't know about three sums being a balance, but sure. I quoted a certain someone. On the outside, don't the two of us make great friends? We were worried whether things would fall apart if we had started dating, and I felt that way up until a week ago myself. But I was wrong. I figured it out, and we'll be fine. We struck the perfect balance. Exactly. Yup. Certain someone had told me it would all be okay as long as we worked toward finding a balance. Luckily, my life had been trending more and more toward maintaining those sorts of balancing acts. For as immensely frustrating as that I had occasionally been, I did think it was a good thing. You don't think we can maintain both? Friends and lovers, I mean, do you not believe we can do both? We can be both. Based on how things have felt this week, I think we can pull it off. How about you? Didn't look like the idea had settled in her head yet. Romantic, the you can say. She go no cana. You are a girl full of dreams, huh? Say, Oro ga wari. Huh? So, ya Oro wa Otoko no naka ja ichiban naka ishi. Ski wa ski da shi. Etch na koto shi demo ii kanji da to wa omotte ru kedo. Ah, yes, the name is that. Ski te naru mono ga nai. Dakara Oro ga wari. Rude. 
ラブラブチュッチュだったかもしれないのに。<laughs> Don't hit me where it hurts. Fair enough. I couldn't remember ever showing her a cool side of myself. Heck, between all the times I cried and complained, I had to admit, I had to admit I'd shown her more of my flaws than anything else. <laughs> She learned at me without warning. Unable to catch her, I was pushed back under the bed. Reyna straddled me in the process. <laughs> No chance with how little warning you gave me. That was dangerous. She nearly snapped my lower back. Oh no. What do you mean a condition? Hmm? I can, I promise. I didn't consider how I'd pull up such a feat in any concrete terms, but there was no way I couldn't just nod my head and agree right now. Now that I promised. Okay. Reina kissed me. This was the prerequisite. Yeah, after a week long balancing act, we were officially a couple. Yeah, W. Clap it up for them. <laughs> how should I go about showing her my cool side? Of that, I wasn't yet sure. <laughs> She and I would continue to be close friends. That was the one thing I was convinced we could pull off with extreme ease. Yeah. W. <laughs> Such inefficient matters were seemingly shunned at Noble Academy, so the formalities were wrapped up in a scant 10, minute, 10 minutes that morning. The primary focus of today were. Our end of term report cards. Incidentally, Noble Academy reverred its students' individual growth so they comprehensively split students in the ranks, grades including. What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. D. The lowest rank from what I'd heard. <laughs> Ella, nobody asked for your opinion! Shut up. My policy is not to worry about grades as long as I can graduate, but it really grinds my gears when they attach ranks like this. For real? Okay. Oh no. I still hit though. <laughs> I won't be expelled? That's a relief. He still hit. That prideless man still hit. What did they promise? The school day ended around 10 o'clock and winter break had begun. However, where are you going? Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Ah. Another cosplay rally? Well, then I will absolutely have to attend. Darn. Show me! Ah. Uh. Oh, no, chill out. You have a girl. I was driven away. Aw. Hmm. Spotted a familiar face heading, headed in a different direction from usual. Towards somewhere deserted near the dorm. Crazy auto in another universe. You, you hit Princess Sylvie right here in this very spot. Anyways. Hey. There, there. Reel lit up a cigarette. 
Did you make it to the end of term ceremony? Oh, and what was your verdict? I was just hoping for a fellow D ranker. Knowing someone like her who hardly even participated in class, she probably got an A. B. Oh, okay. It's fair. Huh? No way! How? Don't you cut classes constantly? The fact that she got a B and never shows up is crazy. Because that dude shows up and got a D. What a loser. Did that apply to Reino too? Wait, what are you even doing for your expert planning classes? I always got the impression that you hung out on the roof all the time or just slept a day away. Huh? She gave me the slip. Anyway, dang, I thought you were a fellow lost cause. <laughs> I hoped I couldn't make this humorous, but now I just felt embarrassing to say. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> 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 you know, she's awfully nice at random times. Interesting for being real. Don't be nice, that makes it even worse. Are these really that rare? <laughs> well, yeah, have been skipping afternoon classes this whole time. This came a little late, but I felt depressed. I don't have anything to work toward. Didn't you tell me this before? That I should strike a life balance? Something tells me I struck a balance, but a very low standing. Yeah, our conversation essentially went, I was in the balanced lifestyle category and Rio was in the devote yourself to one thing category. Hmm. You think so? So だよ。一点だけ尖らせて生きるってのも難しいけど、逆にまんまるくバランス取って生きるってのも難しい。世間様は一点だけ尖らせて、スポーツに打ち込んだり特別な成績を出したやつを評価したがる傾向にあるけど
Don't be so kind. Dang it. No. It was equally difficult to lead a balanced lifestyle. Huh? I knew that. That was made crystal clear to me this past summer. You think I'll avoid having to repeat the year? <sighs> this naturally went from maintaining a healthy balance at school like Rio was talking about. But I currently had one other aspect in my life where I had to maintain a healthy balance as well. Her. Tadaima. Yeah, the bay. How'd the modeling session go? いい感じだったよ。服もいい感じのデザインできたと思う。まあ、シルビーが着るとなんでも似合っちゃうから、まだわかんないけどね。I wish I could have seen it. If only I had tied along, even if I had to force it. <laughs> Whoops. Rainer clung to me. Right, right. We tumbled back into the bed and I set her on my lap. Agreed. I pet her head. This was it. The balance between friends and lovers. I thought it'd be simple to pull off, but I guess even this was complicated. Hmm. Hmm. Just wondering what happened if I kissed you right now. Indeed. I agree right now. Darn. She could easily cling up to me and rest on my lap. All things she could do when we were friends. But when it came to kissing, which was something only lovers did, she wasn't sure how to bridge that distance. This was a toughie. Winter break was now up and on, up and upon us, and we could take our time to work things out as we went. To create a balanced relationship, as it were. Oh, okay. And then she kissed me. I've really gotta stop with these sudden surprise attacks. It scares me every time and afraid our teeth are gonna knock together. <laughs> mm. The balance between friends and lovers. This should be much easier than schoolwork. Possibly anyway. Nice, nice, nice. I was about to say it's not gonna end like that, right? That would be kind of a ending. On the first day of winter break, the dorm was busier than usual. ママ来ちゃう。間に合わないよ。ああ、だから普段から片付けはしっかりとですね。ちょっと クリスマス前にはってなることが多いです。でも、寮内は暗黙の了解として規制前には大掃除も済ませておこうってなってるので、1日で大掃除から規制準備まで。そりゃ大笑わですわ。掃除の方は12月に入ったあたりからちょっと
this was a chill episode. I liked it. It was nice. Again, compared to what we just saw two, three episodes ago, very, very tame. But I don't mind it. This is nice. I like this. And how I said earlier, I really do think Rio is criminally underrated. Like, it's all Sovio and, you know, maybe LA and Reyna, but... I think Rio deserves some love too. The one that I think does not deserve love that much is Akane. <laughs> she's nice and all, you know, nothing wrong with it, but she's just, you know, not one of those that you want to give love to like that, you know, you know, you know, but that's, that's what I think. It was a chill episode. I like it though. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you didn't, dang, that sucks. Time to consider your subscriptions. Anyways, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, Please drop that like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share this video. Share this channel. Let's hit a thousand subscribers, please. So close, but so far away. <laughs> the goal for this year is to hit a thousand subscribers. And if we don't do it, then probably time to hang up the camera. No, nah, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. I'm probably not going to do that anytime soon. But anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. I cannot wait to finish this visual novel, to be honest. And it's not that I am don't like it or whatnot, but we've now reached the point because we're now, what, 30 episodes in? Again, if I'm right, or, you know, great. If I'm not, vitamin editing, vitamin can let us know if we're wrong. But anyways, we've gotten to the point now where it's like, I'm getting ready to be like, okay, on to the next, you know, because we've been on this for a while. And you have to keep in mind, too, that we have Rhea's route to go. We have Akane's root, and then we still have Ella's root. So, we're not even halfway there. <laughs> and I'm already ready to call it. I don't know what it is, but I am also excited to see what the other roots have to offer. I'm honestly very curious after Reyna's root. I'm honestly very curious about Rhea's root, you know, because Rhea's a great character. I like Rhea. Ella is, eh, like I've said before, her personality is just so bruh, and that sucks. That is whack. That is really whack. Hopefully, she has something interesting to offer in her route. Akane, she's all right. She's always fired up. She's cool. But I definitely prefer her over Ellie. But anyways, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. Y'all stay safe and as always. Until next time, fellas.